I'm at the Notre Dame Cathedral and it has been boarded off and there is security and this is as close as we can get and as you can see there's a lot a lot of people here to check out the aftermath of the cathedral. This is the jewel of Western culture and it erupted into flames and broke hearts across the world. It is the most notable monument in Paris and possibly all of Europe and within moments so much of it was lost forever. This cathedral is more than 850 years old and one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. It is such a stunning sight because of its innovative use of the rib vault, flying buttresses, which you can see over here, and decorative sculptures. Notre Dame translates to Our Lady. It is a Catholic cathedral that was completed over the course of 200 years, starting in 1163 during the reign of King Louis VII, and finally completed in 1345. It has been a monument recognized all over the world and ever since. And after falling into disrepair in the 1700s, interest in the Catholic Cathedral was reignited following the publication of Victor Hugo's Hunchback of Notre Dame. It was Napoleon, however, that sought in restoring the cathedral. It was long disused, but after Napoleon was crowned emperor in 1804 inside the cathedral, it was once more a symbol of France's great strength. The renovations were completed around World War II, but fear that the Nazis would destroy the great building meant that the gorgeous stained glass windows were removed and they were put back after the war. This is a cathedral with a extremely rocky history. It has survived so much and yet remained a recognizable symbol all over the world. The 13th century rose window, which you can see behind me, is the biggest glass window in the world. The cathedral remained in use until it burned down yesterday as a place for Catholic Sunday Mass. And when the cathedral went up in flames, France wept all over the world and the world watched in horror. Inside are many historical artifacts, drawings, engravings, mysteries and developments of how Paris came into being. How much of the building can be saved is still uncertain, but there is some good news. Last night, firefighters, police and churchmen risked their lives to carry priceless historical artifacts and religious relics out of the building as it burned down. These included the crown of thorns, which is said to have been placed on the head of Jesus Christ before he was crucified, and a piece of the true cross on which he has, it was said that he had died. The relics were saved when the fire went out and much of the stonework survived, which you can see stonework is still there. The cathedral may well be rebuilt, but how much of the original materials will be included in the restoration, we don't know yet. So I'm in Paris to cover the story of Notre Dame Cathedral. We'll be looking at the aftermath of this tragedy and finding out how locals feel about it. If you'd like to support our work and help us cover the expenses for our modest accommodations and last minute travel, please go to rebelparis.com. For all of our coverage of the Notre Dame tragedy and to help us cover the cost of this reporting, please go to rebelparis.com.